What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another unboxing video. This is going to be on a 4K HDMI switcher. I did a video on a 4K splitter, but if you guys are looking for a 4K switcher, which means you have, say, four to five devices and you want to switch those devices on only one input on your TV or receiver or whatever else device you have, then you want a switcher. Um, so for me, since I do live streaming, I kind of want to have all these devices funneling into an Elgato game capture card. So that's why I need a switcher. So I looked on Amazon and uh, I'm going to give this one a try. Let's check it out. All right, guys, this is a uh, Sky Crop HD 4K 60 Hertz 5 port HDMI switcher. This comes with a remote control and uh, Supposedly this has all the goods. This does uh, 4K HDR, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, 18 gigabit inputs, HTCP 2.2, supports all your latest devices, and also says it has the uh, 444 Chroma and uh, 422 as well. Even supports 12 bit, 12 bit 420 support. This also has uh, auto sensing as well, so you don't necessarily have to have the remote control and switch your inputs all the time. As long as you have one one device on at a time, it'll automatically switch to that one device that turns on and off, right? Let's look at some pictures. So it's a nice uh, nice metal construction, which we which we like because we have you know it uh, gets rid of heat easier that way. And it's like uh, good construction. Uh, hits all the bases, you guys. 4K 60 HDCP, HDR Atmos Dolby Vision, awesome. Uh, 2.0 devices so yeah so all kinds of devices can go into it you got five input ports which is great one output and uh, you can switch it with automatic like I said before or you can manually switch it on a, a button in front of the device and you can also use the remote control with the IR blaster uh, looks like you have the lights that turn on depending on what device is, is currently running you got your power indicator your on and off switch and your IR blaster and then you have the uh, power cord out of the back and uh yeah anti-fingerprint anti-creep whatever that means anti-interference and quick heat dissipation so yeah awesome well, i'm gonna get this uh set up as you can see right now guys i have the um, philips hue hdmi sync box hooked up behind all my stuff here it's it, it's great it works fine uh, unfortunately i have to use my app and always have to turn my app on on my phone to switch inputs on it so that's really kind of a bummer and a lot of times i don't use the lights in here I'd rather use my lights in my home theater when I'm listening to music or watching a movie, have some cool lights dancing around the screen. That'd be kind of cool. So what I want to do is move that HDMI sync box over to my theater room and have this box hooked up to my main area. So without further ado, guys, let's get this unboxed. Switch cameras here. Boom. All right, let's uh, take a look at the box here. All right, so here's the front of the box. Boom. HDMI switcher. From the back, kind of the same thing. Okay, the slip box there. Nothing to uh, unbox, so I can't use the, uh, you know. <clears throat> Open it up in front. Uh, very nice. Save that to the end. So, take that out. This is what you got inside. You have your standard power adapter. Pretty simple stuff there. You have your remote. Hopefully there's batteries inside already. Looks like there is. And uh, pretty simple guys, you got your one through five, your power on and off, and then your cycling input on the bottom. And then on the inside you have uh, owner's manual, which is in multiple languages. But, uh, you know, standard stuff. Can't really see it, but yeah, standard stuff there. On the back there. And for the main event, okay, got a piece of tape on there, nice. Okay. You know, solid little box here, right there. Bam. Boom, right there. Front. Yeah, your front right there. All right, I'm gonna get this all plugged in, turn it on, and see if it all works well. All right, be right back. 
All right, guys, so I have the uh, 4K switcher installed. As you can see the picture right here, I have in port one, my computer, in port two, my Series X, and in port three, the PS5. And right now we're on port two, this is Xbox Series X. If you go into the uh, settings here, right now these are the details. So 4K at 60, which is confirmed. Uh, 4K at 120, uh, that ain't happening. Uh, 120, that ain't happening. HDR10, sweet. Dolby Vision, yeah, that's not happening because I'm going through the Elgato, but it does say that it handles Dolby Vision. And Dolby Vision at 4K 120, that won't happen until LG sends out an update to get that going. Otherwise, the TV does support 10 bit 24 hertz, uh, 10 bit 60, 10 bit uh, 50, HDR10. And uh, we're good to go there. So that is good on the Xbox. Got the remote control right here. We're gonna switch it over to input three, which is the PS5. Switch that over, wait till I get a screen up and running there. And there is the PS5. And if we go over to settings and we go down to screen, we are getting 4K 60 with HDR. Uh, HDCP is off, so I can stream. HDR good. HDR at 50 and 60 at the Y. Uh, UV 420 and 422. And uh, yeah, good to go there. Uh, I do negative two there because of the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Uh, it has to be negative two. HDR elements when supported. HDR good, deep range, and all this stuff automatic. So. All good there, guys. And uh, yeah, so of course the PC works fine. That's that's just 4K at 60 with no HDR. Otherwise, guys, I'm gonna play around with this uh, switcher for a little bit, do some streams, make sure it's all good to go. But otherwise, uh, I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna check this one out for yourself. It's only like 30 something bucks. If you need a good 4K 60 HDR switcher, uh, this will be a good one to go with. Otherwise, uh, like, subscribe, share again, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Home theater rules. Raph out. See you guys.